What are some of the major differences in atypical antipsychotics traditionally used in the treatment of Parkinson's disease psychosis, specifically focusing in on some of the mechanistic differences? Pimavanserin is still the only FDA-approved drug for the treatment of hallucinations and delusions due to Parkinson's disease psychosis. And as your question kind of implies, there's a number of atypical antipsychotics, uh, such as, for example, quetiapine, that are used off-label to treat uh, Parkinson's disease psychosis. And um, mechanistically, unlike pimavanserin, these antipsychotics that are used off-label work by both blocking the dopamine receptor as well as serotonin receptor. And that's a little bit more technical, but what that really does is it, it works on all of these receptors that, that potentially impact psychosis or mood disorders. And pimavanserin primarily works on the serotonin receptors. And the importance of that is in Parkinson's disease psychosis, because of their movement disorders, a um, number of these patients are on a medication called levodopa, which actually adds dopamine to their brain function so they can help with the movement disorders. Now, if you imagine if you're going to add an antipsychotic that blocks dopamine, you kind of create what I call this treatment gymnastics, right, where the clinicians constantly have to decide, do I take the levodopa down a little bit in dosing? and maybe just treat that way the, to, the, to resolve their psychosis? Or do I add a medication that perhaps, you know, um, uh, mitigate some of the, the, the benefits that levodopa have? So they constantly have to balance this efficacy and safety.